I'm trying this out to see what you guys think of this style and how I enjoy it more as well because sometimes I make faces and I'm very expressive and I feel like this might help you capture my feelings on certain items a bit more. So I think it'll be fun to try this out. If you like it, let me know. If you totally hate it, also let me know because the feedback will be great. So what I have today is a pen for the Star Wars fans and it's <laughs> it's I'm not gonna make Chewbacca sounds so I'm sorry to disappoint you're just gonna have to imagine them in your head or have like a Chewbacca soundboard in the background but I thought this would be kind of fun kind of interesting and a great gift idea if you're looking for a pen for yourself or for someone else and you're a Star Wars fan so this pen was sent to me on loan by Applebaum thank you Applebaum very much it is the Cross Townsend Chewbacca. This was a limited edition and it's modeled after uh, Chewie. So let's open it up. It's a pretty large box, but there's a lot of stuff inside to make it a special, like unique edition. So it's got the sleeve. It's a big box and this is their new branding. Here's the pen. You know how I feel about big boxes, but that's okay. Inside you have, I mean, the thing is there's a lot of stuff here that makes this a special limited edition. So you have your Chewy information, a legendary Wookiee warrior and Han Solo's co-pilot of the Millennium Falcon. Chewbacca was part of a core group of rebels who restored freedom to the galaxy. I'm not going to read all this to you because if you're a Star Wars fan, you absolutely know this already. So there's that. There is your Certificate of Authenticity, number 145 of 1,977. So this is the amount that they made. You have your cross information stuff, like you've got your um, pen booklet and... It's just a, a cross thing not a Star Wars thing underneath your bed you have like the cutest box and in the box I mean it's so ridiculous but it's cute um, it's cross has a very interesting shape um, like converter and nipple so it kind of tapers down so it they do provide you with two cartridges they look really small but anyway I have a converter in there because I just prefer the converter um, it did come with the converter and it was in this little envelope that was underneath everything there's a lot of stuff going on in here in this box so let's put all of this back together and move that what's this you say oh wait what's this you say so the problem with this is that sometimes I might do stuff like that it, upside down is fine but let's see Oh, very nifty. So it's a cute little uh, acrylic like Star Wars pen display stand. So unfortunately, because of the angle, you don't get to see what I'm trying to show you. So what I'm going to do is do this. Pretty cute. I think that's neat. And so this is one of the things that comes in the limited edition presentation, which I think is like, I get it. I understand the need for this box. So... I think it's very special and really cute if you have space for like a display or something. So now let's look at this Chewy pen. There, I wonder, you know, do we need some light? Probably not, but no, we don't. I'm gonna turn that off. Okay, so I'm gonna just pull my light. Oh no, it's not in my face. Oh no, see, this is the issue. Okay, that's fine. We'll, we'll manage, we'll live, right? We'll, we'll manage. I'll edit all this out. Okay, here we go. The Cross Chewbacca pen. You can see it has like chewy fur texture, you know, from his face. Um, the way it just, you know, flows. And there is a jewel on the top of the cap. That's kind of cute. You've got your Star Wars insignia. And um, I think this is his, yeah, it is his thing the Star Wars fans are gonna hate me 
please correct me. Please tell me what it is called. And I know what it is. It's the belt, right? For the thing. Okay. There is the classic cross clip. Really cool shape. I actually really like that. It's springy, but really snug. So it's going to hold the pen. The pen is surprisingly heavy. I mean, it's not heavy, but it's, it's surprising. I thought it would be lighter considering it's very slender. Nice full-size pen. It has a super nice mechanism. It's very satisfying. It's got that really nice like click right at the end. So I like that. Other than that, like it's a pretty slender pen. The section is just black plastic, flares out. Um, no threads, no ridge here. It's very nice. Let me just show you the inside. There's that converter. This closes really nicely. And I don't have any cross pens at the moment, like none in my collection, but the fit and finish of this pen, it, like the small things like that is really good. So there you go. In hand, a really nice size. It's definitely on the slim side, but for me, I don't mind that at all. Really well balanced. And if you wish to post, it posts with a click. It's very snug, very secure, but it makes it top heavy. So I wouldn't personally use it like this. And, but if you have larger hands or you don't mind heavy pens, no reason you can't post it. So it's, but it's very heavy for me. So I am not going to post. Okay. Now I'm going to put this here. And we're going to do, actually, let's do it this way. Let's see if I can look at the screen and look at the other screen at the same time. So this is, I'm going to pull this down. This is the cross. Um, let's make sure you can see what I'm doing. Make sure I can see what I'm doing. Never mind you guys. This is the Townsend model. It is a limited edition of 1,977. Uh, this is, yeah, that's a medium nib. It's an 18 karat gold medium nib. If you want to take a look at it, single slit, round breather hole. Lots of decorations on it. I don't care for the nib appearance of the cross, but there's nothing wrong with it. It's a, it's kind of a small nib. It looks a little cute. It is not a Chewbacca nib. Whatever that would be. It is pretty wet. The ink is... Roller Moon Cleaner Sepia. I thought it would be a good chewy match. Uh, I think it's pretty good. So it's nice and wet. And in the, I've actually had it for a really long time. Uh, in all the time I've been using it, it has been a flawless performer. And that's kind of what I expect from Cross. Uh, just, it's well-tuned, well-adjusted. It's just like, bang on, good nib, good performance. No skips, no hard starts. It has the wetness that I like. And I think it's a true medium. Like, it's a really good size. And if we do... I'm writing. It's not super, super smooth. Like, there's a little bit of feedback. Not remotely scratchy, though. Furthermore... If you're curious, which you probably are, it is a firm nib, but it does yield slightly. So what I'm getting is just a slightly juicier medium line. superb writing performance um it's a reliable writer it's super solid and and again that's kind of what i expect from cross it's like 
although this is a unusual mo- um unusual finish like the design is different it's a it's just a it's a good pen it feels good in hand it's well made it is not unreasonably priced for a limited edition like a star wars so they're like 575 us but it it's just very satisfactory um if you're just looking for a a star wars themed pen i mean personally a chewy is not something that i want to be reminded of constantly like grogu maybe because he's really cute so hopefully they'll do a Grogu version, aka Baby Yoda. But it's a really good pen. So I think they've done a really good job with this creation. And it's not like too chewy, you know? Like it's not excessively Chewbacca-y. It's not like when you uncap it, it does the chewy noise or anything. So I think it's a a pretty well done job, especially at the back here. I like the details. It's not over the top. It's just a nice amount of homage to Chewy. Well, that wraps that up. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Hope you learned something about the pen. Hopefully you found a gift idea that you like. Um, we are going to do a thank you to Applebaum for loaning me this pen. You know the deal. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you would like and subscribe and maybe even share with someone if you feel up for it. I would really appreciate it. It means so much to me. Okay, I'm sorry. It's all greasy down here. The page. It's me. It's the grease. And let me know what you think of the style. I kind of like it because I get to look at you. It's like I'm talking to you. It's like you're right here. And, uh, yeah. So that's everything. Take care. Have a wonderful day. And we'll see you for the next video. Bye. 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 Nope, that's not chewy. Nope, that's not chewy either. Not gonna try that anymore.